Hello guys and welcome to the channel, this is the Eradicator and today we are going to have a Little Big Adventure video. Now, some of the uh, videos on this channel about Little Big Adventures have been some of my most successful videos uh, with a lot of new subscribers and uh, thousands of views so I'm really grateful for you guys and of course that's why every time there are news about the new upcoming Little Big Adventure I will be covering what is going on plus I am myself a huge fan of the series. I played the original back in 1994, the second one, the sequel in 1997. I am so hyped about the reboot of the franchise. Yeah, it's not LBA 3, it's a reboot, but nevertheless, I think it's going to be wonderful and that the, the team is genuinely interested in making a great game. So here we go. Let's have a look at what was said here. There was a uh, recent live stream on Twitch from the studio and we were given some really juicy information. So the first one is that yeah, the new LBA, or TLBA I should say, Twinson's Little Big Adventure is not going to be a remaster, but instead uh, it's going to be a reimagination of the actual universe with the same characters and the same settings, especially in regards to what they are experiencing in their lives. Uh, perhaps here the developers are talking about uh, probably Dr. Funfrock's dictatorship. I believe that it was mentioned that he will be also coming back. Dr. Funfrock will be the villain in the series, so that's great. We need to have an iconic villain, and he kind of is, right? Uh, the original scenario will therefore be followed, but there will be parts that will be modified or added to enrich the original story and make it a little bit more compelling, including the addition of secondary quests. The game will be in third person, and uh, it was also said that it will allow players to appreciate the surrounding environment better. The game engine will be the Unreal, F uh, the Unreal Engine 5, which is not news, it's something that they've been announcing in their blog for quite some time already, uh, which also explains why everything will be in 3D, and therefore the isometric 3D camera, which was actually a you know, fake 2D, fake 3D camera from the original games, will not be returning, and um, quite frankly, yeah, there's... It's, it's not much of a big deal, I think, because, you know, it's 2022, right? And we're in the 2020s. So how about bringing the best of today's age for this universe? I think that uh, it would be quite fitting since back in those days in the 1990s, it was already the best for that universe. So uh, I'm fine with that. Uh, the game's iconic locations will be recreated. Uh, the studio has already started to recreate Citadel Island, which is the starting location in the original game, as well as Twinson, the hero's hometown. The game's iconic uh, iconic secondary characters will also return. For example, uh, Twinson uh, will still be with Zoe, uh, Funfrock will still be the villain as I said, but there will, as I said, be uh, characters from the second game too that will be added into the first one. For example, uh, will we see wizards? There are no wizards in the first LBA, uh, but will they be in, in this remaster? That would make sense, right? Where are they? Uh, under Funfrock's dictatorship. Um, I would like to see some other minor characters like Luke, the tavern owner, or Bruce, the Sphero hippie. It would be pretty cool to see them back. Not to mention that the original game does not feature any female Grobos, female Spheros, uh, nor any civilian Quetches. I know all the Quetches you encounter in the first game are either salespeople, or nurses, or workers at the, the Polar Island. But I would like to see you know, civilian Quetches, like in LBA2. Uh, so we should expect to see them as well. Zoe is said to have also a greater role though, because in the first game she's just out there waiting for Twinson to come and then be rescued, but uh, it appears that the team has decided to go a little bit deeper than this. Uh, perhaps that means that we will start the game before Twinson gets sent to the asylum, which uh, is a part that I've always been curious about, and it would be great to also get introduced to Zoe more and get to know her a little bit better and get more emotionally attached to her before Twinson gets sent to the asylum. Uh, perhaps we'll also know why she's wearing that gown. I mean, if she's still wearing it. I would really, well, perhaps uh, it, she was supposed to have a romantic dinner with Twinson or uh, some kind of special party. Uh, maybe she he proposed her. I don't know. Uh, but it would be interesting to see the backstory behind that. Uh, I was also happy to hear that the new LBA will be cartoonish and not photorealistic. And I think that it is good because LBA has always been cartoonish, including its cutscenes. LBA needs to have this perfect mix of cutscenes and drama combined together. And going with a cartoonish, cartoonish style is the right direction, in my opinion. Also, I was personally told that the style of the game will not be as it is on those uh, pieces of artwork, which apparently are nothing more but an artistic representation of the characters, which personally 
I really, really, really don't like. Uh, I find them a bit unfitting and against the spirit of the series and I have had the chance to personally say that to the developers. I believe it was Ben and really I wanted to uh, thank him for reaching out to me. We had a, a rough but cordial discussion about this particular disagreement. I have to admit that perhaps I was a little bit too... Uh, uh, vocal on social media and uh, if I have uh, hurt uh, any people because of my comments at the studio then I would like to apologize for that it's true that I was a little bit uh, rough but personally I found it very classy of him to reach out to me and uh, well thank you Ben for doing this uh, also speaking of art uh, Paulo from Brazil is the concept artist for the game and the uh, concept art has not been released yet but we should get to see uh, those in a couple of months or so so we'll have to be a bit patient out there uh, some of the classic items will be coming back, uh, classic items from the original games, for example the clovers and their boxes, which give additional lives in the first two games. When it comes to gameplay, the magic ball will also come and the prototypes have been made for the, for the bouncing effects of the ball. However, the four behaviors, normal, sporty, aggressive and discreet, have been scrapped. Ben didn't want to tell us more here, but for me, what I believe is that the they are going to try to seamlessly integrate those behaviors into the game. I think that it would be a little bit more realistic and more in terms with today's uh, modern gaming standards. Uh, we do have a potential release date. Uh, ben did say uh, that uh, they would like to have a, an early access available throughout the year 2024, which should give them enough time to uh, recreate at least, maybe not the entire story, but some parts of the, uh, some of the, the first part of the story for players to be enjoying in early access. I mean, it would make sense to release the story may be in different chapters um, so if the first one the first part of the story are already get them in early access and as uh, the developers work more on finishing the game then release more parts of the story in future updates why not that could be an interesting way and uh, they could, given the replayability of little big adventure uh, since it's a game that can be played over and over and over and over again <laughs> uh, i suppose that um, that it's, it's not going to be much of an issue here. As far as the original LBA creators go, we also learned that Frédéric Reynal and Didier Chanfray are part of the creative board, meaning that they do supervise and give some advice about the recreation of the game, with Didier seemingly being more active in development than Frédéric, that's what it looks like at least, as he is currently involved in recreating the game location, such as, for example, Citadel Island, which is going to be similar to the one we saw in LBA 2, with further improvement made by the the technological advancements made since the 1990s. Didier also emphasized on the fact that he doesn't want to do exactly the same game as the one that was made in the 1990s, but instead wants to make the most of today's possibilities to offer something much better. There were also a few questions about localizations, and Bed did confirm that uh, the game will be in French and in English to begin with, and hopefully other languages, such as Portuguese or Dutch, will also be added, since they have developers from these countries, uh, from the Brazil and the Netherlands. A question was also asked about Chinese language, but here I think that we need to be cautious, because Little Big Adventure is about toppling a dictatorship, something that the Chinese government might not see with a very keen eye. So if I were the devs, I would focus on traditional Chinese for the Taiwanese market and perhaps avoiding in the in, in the Chinese market since it might not even be allowed to enter the Chinese market due to its scenario. As for Little Big Adventure 3, the plan is for three games. This is three games. This is something that Benoit did say. So they will first redo the first two games and then move on to the third one if, of course, they are successful in their endeavor. Unfortunately, there will be no Kickstarter. The plan is, as they say, to go through uh, early access first for now. And there is also no publisher, but they are not ruling out having a publisher if a publisher is interested in publishing the game. We also learned, last but not least, we learned that the studio also collaborates with fan remakes and one of the examples is how they collaborate on animations anyway that guys that is all for this video these are the crunchiest parts the best 
information that we learned here from this uh, two hour long live stream it was first in French and then in English. I like the idea of having a bilingual uh, live stream. That was a very nice touch. But let me know in the comment section down below, guys. Uh, first, did you know there was an LB again that was being made? And if yes, uh, how long have you been waiting? I've been waiting since 1997. That's why I'm so excited. And um, I'll definitely be uh, making as many videos as I can about this series because I'm a huge fan and I want to be sharing this passion with you guys. Anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. It's the, I cannot even say my name. It's the Eradicator. I will see you guys later.